other extra mile when people remember sing for mobad challenge and people begin to see that this is a boy that is getting justice either in the court or in the in, in, in the people's life because when you remember the sing for mobile challenge five years from now ten years from now if we can do it annually anytime you hear that challenge you know that a superstar is going to be born and you know that tribute is being given to one young star that died early so for us it's keeping the justice alive because people will remember more and they'll remember justice so that's the game and if we as a foundation we succeed on doing that my brother we would have left a legacy that our people should be recognized and also put the fear in those who think they can kill the body and kill the soul so we have a duty to keep that spirit alive the name of mo must not die the name of mo must represent justice must bring something new to our legal system and above all the fear of humanity into the wicked souls that we have that think they can do and do and undo at will if we can keep that name going and we can succeed in finding what happened believe me some people are going to feel it and people are going to respect africa and also another thing that you probably didn't see is the tourism the tourist that will come from tanzania from kenya from cameroon from america to see the tribute or those that watch it on television when it's done and they can say like today i was work, i was watching uh what is this is it african movie awards 2014 award i was watching it with my wife and i was like 2014 but you know what my wife saw some of the actors and actresses and she remembered some of their movies because of that award that we were watching so if we do this for more it's all about keeping the name alive and and make the name synonymous with justice rebranding of our legal system so you know i mean i could name on and on but let's leave it at that summary hola is that clear enough sir not clear enough what I mean is, is there any financial interest, like financial gain, that your foundation starts to gain in all this? Okay. I, let, 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 okay, thank you. I didn't know. You didn't mention financial. You said gain. Now, as you can see, my no mind, no money, nothing came up. We're not asking you for money. We have not asked the public for money. We have not asked the participants for money. We have about 50 entries already, and we haven't started promoting it. So there is no financial gain. Now, if at the end of the day, we don't even plan to charge gate fee for those that are coming. But you open my mind to something because they say money answered all things. Again, do you know what it takes to bring superstars to perform? Do you know what it takes to bring artists? Some of the artists are coming from Kenya, different countries of Africa. We may have to pay for their flight. And this foundation that we're talking about is a baby foundation. Everything we are doing so far that we've done is by African Television funded. But we're not asking you for money back. Now, credit to some of the foundation members who have made that the beat, the song. If you go to Audio Mac and you, and you go to Audio Mac and you say, sing for mobile challenge, that beat, we paid for it. Do you know how much? 35,000 Naira. It was one of the members of the foundation that donated that money. So if somebody didn't pay for it, we wouldn't have a bit. So money answered all things. But we have a way of sourcing money within ourselves. And if we need to go public for money, and remember I said if, if, I didn't say we will. If we need to, we will be well justified and it will be done legally and transparently. And again, I use the word if. But at this stage of the game, we are operating on the passion to help Mo get justice, to keep the name alive. So money is not the first thing for us. Money is not even on the table. Where we have needed money, we have done it internally on our own. So 
I don't see any financial gain at this stage. And the way God works, we may finish everything and don't ask you or anybody for a dime. We do it by ourselves for, you know, for the glory of the movement. Are you clear now, Ola? Ola. No problem. If you say so, no problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, I didn't know I was coming up for interview. Imale, Imalo got, got me involved with her impersonation of African TV when they were trying to ambush me. That's what I came up for. We were having fun, but now you guys have turned it into those days. That's the way they used to accost me and drag me into interviews and all that. But, you know, I hope I've cleared some of the air. No 1730 ever existed. Our intentions are pure. They are true. And it's for the glory of Almighty God to help our country. Thank you, guys. Paprano. Ah, oh yes. Um, thank you and welcome back again. Yes, we. I think we're able to <laughs> iron out some things. You know, sometimes this thing is good for us to keep. You know, recollecting these things to keep explaining these things. This is another form of education because a lot of people. I mean, after breaking down this in foundation, some persons are hearing the foundation for the first time. I mean, we have to, have to be honest about this. So that's why um, people keep asking questions because they don't know how it works. They don't know how foundation works. So it's an opportunity for people to learn. I see it like that. That's why something I want, just want them to ask questions so they can get to pick on or two things. Believe me, I mean, since ever since that time you talk about foundation, believe me, so many persons would have been thinking of opening foundation or even right now they may even be on their way of opening a foundation. And I mean, this is just a true reality. People always learn. That's why anytime I find myself in areas where I had to explain things to people, I take time to make sure I explain it in the way it's supposed to be and in the way it is. I mean, on how I believe it's supposed to be. So and whoever is interested, let me pick it up from there. And then, um, yeah. So that's the most aspect of it, to educate people on these things. And at the end of the day, everybody will still do what they, they, they need to do. Okay, it's determination that matters. There are so many persons who might have, have that same idea, but do they have the determination? Okay, here are you now. You're still on the, the case. So, so many persons already, some, so many hosts declaring their resignation, that we're no longer responsible, it's too tough. We don't want to be, but I guess you always want to be, whatever chance you have, you always want to help. If it were some people after all of this backlash, there and there, they would have just, I mean, they would have back, backed out. I don't even know whether this lady is, long time I hear about Yeyekudi. Let me just ask this to everybody in the comment section. Guys, is Yeyekudi still on this case? It's been a while. Is she still on the case? Yeyekudi step, step aside. Really? Yeah. She announced it. I have a personal relationship with her. Oh my God, there is not on the bargain. What happened? The bargain wasn't noisy. Relationship with her. Oh, you are in a relationship with her. I see. I see. So, there are a lot of conception that is about to be filtering out, and she she wouldn't she wouldn't like that to be attached to her. Mm. And attached to her. you said? No, you said? I mean. No, as, since you said you are in a relationship with her, so I understand. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. and some other people are coming up uh, in the movement. They are also trying their best in one way or the other, but they they want to be identified as 
the people that are doing the thing and they want to take glory and it's almost coming to but i'm still wondering like how you know this you say you are in a relationship with her are you sure i said i have a good relationship with her <laughs> All right. don't, don't put me in problem <laughs> Yeah. You have to be, I mean, you have to be conscious of conversations. You have to listen carefully. Yeah? <laughs> if I was a journalist right now and I wanted to broadcast that, I would just let it go. I said that twice and you were saying yes. So I'll just let it go. Then after, I'll just make the heading. Um, I'll just say Comrade Moses who claimed to have uh, been in a relationship with one of our, our colleagues called Buke and called Yekudi, just released this information to us in a conversation with Apariano. Uh, maybe probably this particular day. And so, and these are the things that, I mean, his boyfriend or his partner gives to us. Watch and hear this for yourself. And they will watch it. They will see where I was asking you two good times. You say yes. And it will become the ending of the newspaper tomorrow. Uh, 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 uh. So and you mean she get she got frustrated because of all of this chaos coming in left left right you mean honestly, honestly it, it's what uh, someone to, to get frustrated he put so much energy time strength talking to people I've not seen her live she, does she go live again this time around she goes live but she discussed something else. Not just for mobile. No, I don't think I don't think she. Well, anyway, that's up to her. But she should have. If you care, if you care to know, she was hmm? she was the engineer behind uh, the bracket uh, move the bracket uh, trip uh, bracket uh, getting involved into that matter. She was the she was she was the engineer behind it. That means about to go, about to go to Berekete, right? Yeah, he was the one that made it happen, actually. Hmm. So some people came up and they want to start frustrating her. Uh, uh, you know? <laughs> She's like, <laughs> if I tell you that, uh, yes, I like I, I like I the I energy can't. of Buki Jesse and Yekudi. I, yeah. have, I don't stream people anyhow. When you see me streaming people, I just like their energy. I may not agree yes. with them on things they do, but their energy, I just like it. <laughs> Let me just put it there before you continue. Yeah, I, you know, know. Know. Uh, I beg to differ with Mr. Comrade Mose. I don't think she is the sole person that engine that um behind Papa um Baba Mo getting to break it. No. I totally disagree with that. I totally disagree. Let me close the door. Man. They're having an argument again, disturbing me. Um. So I don't think so. Buki has been agitating for Baba Mo Boba to go to Brekete right from get go, which I am very much aware of. I know what she put in. Put in. I know who she assigned, who she sent money to, to do all that. So not one person should not come and take the glory. No, it was a united joint effort. That's what I want to say. Papariano, mm. Papariano, nah. you, you, can, you, can, you can believe that we, we have been in this journey from mm -hmm. the beginning. Mm -hmm. We 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 raise money for spending. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. On our platform. Mm -hmm. So if I if I tell you something, I don't tell you what I hear from first hand or second hand. Mm. Yeah, I tell you what I know per se. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she did a lot. And if anybody is saying that she's not the one who, who engineer and manage the bracket option, 
That person does not. That person does not have information. Right information. Point to prove. You know. Very good. Yeah, who me? Any sir? Any sir? Am I any sir? Let 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 in fact, Fabari Alonso ni bagan ni. Pelu bo se ja pe e ma ti westo. Ah ah. You go. Mo jini bo luwa. Westo. But o ko sha like here. Be come with mo jino. I come oya go on, come read. Fabari Alo. Mhm. The person that connected in fact go tell you can confirm all these things. Amuiwatu can confirm. The person that connected Baba to Brekete was a, a, a lady, a woman lawyer who lives in Abu Dhabi. Mm, mm, yeah. mm. Who lives in Abu Dhabi. Mm. And the good friend is a good friend to Yeye. Mm -hmm. That was the person that knows Brekete one on one. Mm -hmm. and that, woman, that woman was a practicing lawyer in Abuja. In mm -hmm. fact, I know, her, I know her office here in Abuja. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not saying other people do not support. Oh, okay, That's it's like this one is confirming what you are saying. The book, book the BJ tried before, but Baba refused to go. So somebody have to try to make Baba go. Mm. Uh -huh. So if you are saying that, like Mojisola, unmute your mic. Is that what you are saying, Mojisola? Yes, Mojisola mm -hmm. is absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. I know how much Buki has. She had even she did through her. It was made to realize that there is a form they fill out for mm -hmm. you to be seen at Berekete. It, ta it takes a procedure. You just don't go there and see Ber Ber Berekete. Buki had sent someone to go there, filled out the form, laid all the foundation, everything that needed to be done. I am a fervent follower of Buki. I'm a fervent follower of the UPD. So I know. Look, look, at it. look at things this way. Let me see. You tried to make me go somewhere. You do everything. But I refuse. And then someone else came to make me good. Who are we going to say make me good? <laughs> I'm going to take a collective Abayano. effort. Because Abayano. the person that has initially started Abayano. has been laying some foundations. Please hold on. I'm going to get off after I finish this. I, I, I don't want to go into okay. argument. For me, as for me, they all did well. I'm a favorite follower of both. I love the two ladies and I think they did good. It's a hmm. pity Yeye couldn't stop. I wish she's still in it, and I hope she's going to get back on it. And she's I alive. Yeah. She's, she's alive right now. Yes. yes. So I, I do believe in her. I believe in Buki. I'm telling you, both of them. But listen, I, I don't downplay any effort. There's sometimes somebody needs to water something. And you may say, no, no, no. By the time another person brings up the idea, because of what had been watered, what you had heard, what you had known, the persuasion people had given you, the the echoes or whatever positive remarks people had told you before, it's something you build on that will make you listen to the other party. I'm telling you, if there hadn't been that former foundation or whatever, it might not easily still happen. Because as you see, Baba Mo, sometimes it can be very stubborn. It can be. How do you know that? How, you. What, what do you mean? What did you this say? From, I have like, never spoken to him before, but from Buki JC. You from Buki from JC. From a psychology point of view. Uh, <laughs> no, I've never had to talk to Baba Mo before, <laughs> trust mm -hmm. me. But mm -hmm. I do speak with Buki, and I mm -hmm. do know that, you know, it's just because of this justice for Mo thing. And I do know that she she sometimes she gets frustrated. Some she had, she had come up before to do a show against Baba before when she got so frustrated after making a lot of efforts for him to do this to do that to go here to going to break it was part of what frustrated her. 
and she came up one day and she did a show and we all castigated her that no 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 don't get that no don't get that far you know so i i want to say it's a collective effort that's just what i'm going to put out there Mapariano. that's it Mapariano. Mapariano. Uh -huh. i won't stop arguing what i know uh -huh. and I, won't, I won't dispute anybody uh -huh. for making any effort look i live here in abuja uh -huh. Berekete, human rights radio. Mm. When you go to the when you go to the front desk, you fill form. Mm. There are five thousand forms unattended to at the front desk. Mm. Anybody can go there and fill a form and submit mm. at the front desk. Mm -hmm. I can bet it. I can bet it with you anywhere. Mm. If you don't have the right connection to Ahmed Musa in the next three months, your mm. form is still at the front desk, unattended to. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Look, the woman who connected them to Brekete eh, is a private lawyer to Julius Beja Nigeria Limited. Mm. For you to know that I know the story very well. Mm -hmm. And the woman lives in Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. A very good friend of Yeye. Mm -hmm. And that was the channel they used. In fact, the woman was the one who paid some of the flight tickets that they used to take to Abuja. For you to know, I, I am very close to this movement and I have some good information. You can. If you, are, if you know somebody who communicates with Muiwa very well, you can confirm from Muiwa what I'm saying. So, okay, I'm saying, wait, wait, madam, madam, wait now. Madam, wait now. Sorry, excuse me. Yes, so, we are not saying so people did not put effort. You understand? But we knew the people who made that thing happen. You understand? So, that's all what I can say. And then, like, uh, you remember, we are the first set of people that launch an underground search in loot and discover myself and Bossman and discover that the autopsy or what, what, they, what they call it, toxicology, right, was not taken out. And when we came back and told the group, a lot of people do not believe it but when Berekete came and launched his investigation he discovered that truly that thing was not taken out now people came back to come and believe us but we we were not bothered we did it we we were not worried that uh, we didn't take the glory it is not all about taking the glory it's all about getting the movement moving and getting the right thing done. So you could see that in discovering that the autopsy was not taken out, we also took part in it, right? Mm -hmm. But the person that actually unraveled that fact. Uh, uh, my fellow colleague, uh, don't yes, think that you may be making a very big mistake, okay? okay uh, if you continue to say, like Berekete realized that the toxicology was not taken out of the country, I don't. I do not think at any point in time, Berekete ever argue whether or not, hey, you this person using that name York Daddy, A.K.A. whatever. Okay, it is either you change that name or you get away from here. I'm gonna mute you. Go change that name. Next time I see you with that name, I'm gonna block you. Do not embarrass judges from about persons. Okay, you don't have to go this far. Okay, if you want to be relevant, be relevant. I will treat you like whatever you are. So get out right now, go change your name. Five minutes, I'm muting you. Change your name, you come back. You come back with that name, block straight. Okay? Within five minutes, you can do the changing, you come back. Mm -hmm. Then to use it. Papa Yano, now, please, uh, please pardon me. Before you, you go that route, right. you are going a different me. route now. So Before you go that route, right. let me just put this there. Let me put this there. Uh -huh. Papa Yano. Uh -huh. Berekete already knew about Mubat's case. 
right on Buki's platform, she cut out where Berekete even stated that if they want him to take over, the case is ready if they come to him. So it wasn't a matter of needing a special connection. Berekete himself was even ready to take it if they get to him. So I just want to put out there also. <laughs> Dr. Essa, you seem to be a fighter. Eh? You seem to you like Goto Goto. <laughs> I like Goto Goto, but not, no. the, not, the abu not abusive Goto Goto. I don't go that route. Around. I will create a show for you one day. I will have a show for you. You are so quick. You want it badly. But don't worry. There will be another good day for you. Oh, just take it easy. Relax. <laughs> um, now, you see, comrade, I'm afraid to say that I don't think there is ever any clip where Berkete argued or realized that toxicology was not taken out of the country. I don't think there is any way there is any, he made such argument. What I think happened, Susie for Justice, that is aka Suzanne, caught Berkete and told Berkete, even at that time Berkete was expecting was still expecting the call of the Commissioner of uh, Information of Lagos, Benga Omoto on that day, we I remember very really. So the lady Suzanne put up a call and told Berekete, and in fact Berekete even anointed her, okay, because she was saying that the government have not taken that out of uh, the country, and Berekete, you know, it's usual joke. So he was saying, how do you know this and that, that, uh, uh, Berekete was trying to, I mean, underestimate all of those information. She insisted. Then Berekete said, come, we don't fight government here. And I'm sure you guys don't fight government where you guys are there. Okay? And so Berekete, but he was smart enough to keep that information with him. Okay? Now, when the Commissioner of Information called back that 10 a.m. that he promised to call back, then Berekete now, like, told him, Okay, that um, can you tell us the name of the because that prompted Berekete that you know that information alerted him, it made him wake up. It was a good information that came at that time, so that made him to insist that he wanted to know where the toxicology was taken to, which country, which center, which place in particular. Because he insisted that if the commissioner doesn't mind, maybe he should call back in the next 30 minutes and give him the information. And they were able to reconvene again, and the information was given. I don't know whether you were part of that live, but I broadcasted that live here. Yeah. So um, it was a good information, but don't make it look like Berekete at a point like get to find that he never did it so today i don't think he has done his own research and that's why i'm saying that i don't really see Berkete that much like active in the, um, in this case it doesn't it looks passive in this case well and that is one and then secondly okay. again if and then secondly okay making reference to uh i mean alluding to what was said about somebody from Dubai connection, whatever. Are we going to say Berekete is not a man of his word? When even it looks like Berekete was one of the first organization that's the first foundation, as far as I know, to take over the Mobat case, to be ready to take over the mobile case, even before African television, even before Oreo Miamza, before every other person. This was Berekete, okay? Seven days after Mobad was buried. If you can find me any, any clip, listen to Berekete. Seven days after Mobad was buried, unless it's not a man of his word, okay? Say in this clip, that even if there are procedures, people have to come, line up, sign, okay, that Obama should have gone through, that he will be the one to contact them, even if it's against his rule. People usually have to come, sign, but he will be the one to reach out to Baba, to reach out to Mama, to reach out to the wife, 
So it means he, if he didn't do all of those things, then it's cloud chasing. <laughs> then everybody was jumping into Mubat's case, like trying to trend with the, with the case. Now listen to Berekele seven days after Mubat. Uh, burial. Program will be dedicated. I did dedicate this today's program, tomorrow's program, throughout this month. This program will be dedicated to late Mobad, a young, talented Nigerian. Even though nobody don't carry complaint, come officially to Human Rights Radio and Television Bracket Family, we will take over the matter. We go connect with your father, connect with the mother, connect with the wife, connect with the friends, connect. First of all, all this connection, we go connect with the mother. Has been connected with the mother at that time, connect with the father, connect with your friends. You see, Matt is very sweet. That's what sometimes I like to know person. I don't know this man before, but some persons have worked with him, they know him. Everybody understands the way they do their stuff. But some those of you who just have soft mind and gullible mind, you don't take time, okay? The way you guys, I mean, the way you guys, uh, I mean, begin analyze people. Sometimes I want to say it's not, it's not helping. That's why you see so many pastors have so many followers like flocks behind them, and whatever their pastor tells them is what they believe. The same thing with Berekete. I see that thing. I, I mean, I see sometimes people just, I mean, trust Berekete even without any. I mean, even without any reason. And it shouldn't be like that. You have to study people. This is somebody, if I if I hold him for this speech, speech right now, we will connect with the mother. Did you make an attempt to connect with the mother? We will connect with the father. Did you call the father? Did you attempt to call, to call the father? Now they are saying, in fact, people were trying to, even it was so hard to get to you. You will say you will connect with the mother, connect with the wife, connect with the friends. In fact, we have Prambo, we have Spending, we have all of these guys, the friends. Have you tried to connect with any of them? Uh, let's continue. With him be the name of the hospital where they talk to him. And when Mobad father went to him, February, when I see him speaking, he was acting like he doesn't know much about the case. He didn't know much about the case. But as early as seven days, if he can speak like this, seven days after Mobad's death, then count October, November, December, January, Stroke February. Then he wants to tell me he doesn't know about the case. Come on now. Or bad die. Some people they talk say na ear infection. Some they talk say na overdose of drugs. But one audio where I hear where somebody give away talk say he did for the hospital that day. In two, you go to collect injection for the hospital. You say Mobad enter with one other person. He said, even him snap with Mobad that day. Say, because he na fan him be. Before Mobad enter. According to that audio, we are never verified. He say, small time. The person will come with We can see the nurses come, they run up and down. They run up and down like confusion. Small time. He said, that person. We come with Mobad. Not be said and carry Mobad enter hospital. He walk out with a leg by himself. So there is not picture. I don't know whether I understand based on the report. He say you can't see that person. They run up and down. Small time. They don't carry Mobad. He saying they wonder. Not be the hospital is supposed to make arrangement of even let's assume say an emergency. Carry more to carry and go to another hospital. He say no. Say na that guy and the, the few nurses just make arrangement. Put them. Another thing where people they talk, they say coffin where they put more bad. No be inside. Say them bend the neck inside. Mm -hmm. Me when the people they complain say um, why they go bury, bury and quick? Why they go bury and quick? For my mind. Mobad, like abbreviation of Muhammad. I just say now I'm Muslim. I can't tell them say ah, to as a Muslim like me now. If I die, I no one spend more than five minutes. May they just bury me. Make anything where I do make you follow me to my to my creator. 
I know we want to make I suffer people. But the circumstances will lead to more bad death. Even if more bad are Muslim, they supposed to ask questions before they go bury her. More bad now one talented young Nigeria when we we get we get future it, 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 for entertainment. More bad can act, even though you know enter acting, but you can see it from his actions. More bad know the struggle to sing. And his style of singing, now this calm, you know, I know Sabi singing songs because I know belong to this generation. Even in dance, I they like in dance the way they do leg. All of a sudden, if we know, follow up this kind matter, now so our children go to go. We go involve dss for this matter we go involve police for this matter we go involve nia we go involve private investigators we go involve everybody until mobad gets justice <laughs> by the grace of all right so that is it uh, i've not seen the dss yet i've not seen the nia yet i've not seen all the uh, the sweet 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 sweetness but maybe the battle will start maybe later but so far from now you guys will not uh you not i mean dispute that uh we are still waiting and that's what i'm saying at the time he even said he went to i mean he could do no don't no misunderstanding here african television went to Ikurudu. we saw him in a video everything he was there nobody chop him nobody ate him when he said he went to Ikurudu, <laughs> he didn't see Again, but these are the, these are the underground things that you guys love. You love it when somebody like put you in the darkness, make it obscure, make it oh, I was mis they paint a big image. People like fantasies. You you you, you, you are okay. You are fed with those things. <laughs> it calms you down. All right. You know. Sometimes I think this order of these things is because of so much maybe religion. Too much of fairy tales watching hollywood movies nollywood okay like having belief okay on the unknown you know believing believing the unknown so for example i pray for you for example i tell you hey please i can pray for you to make 200 million dollars in the next two years i can pray for you but you just need to make, you just need to do something. You just need to drop 500,000 Naira or 200,000 Naira or 50,000 Naira. And I want to pray for you. And in two years from now, you will, the Holy Spirit will make you to have 200 million. I can see it. <laughs> Some will drop. I'm telling you. Some will drop. But have you checked the possibility? I mean, there is no how you will go to Ikurudun. You will not meet all of those famous guys who live there. I mean, there is no how, okay? But me, I expect him. I don't expect him in his capacity as a billionaire to be going to Ikurudun. Just involve the private investigators. Let them go and do all of those things. Okay, let them be on the case. And let them give you a response. Okay? That's what we call, like, a, I don't want to, if, I, if there are some language I don't want to be using. Okay, these are things that we are all aware of. And in order for us to be able to close some chapters, we have to be using this word, frank. Enough is enough. Nobody should play on Nigeria's intelligence. Be frank. Don't play on people. What is not, don't make it be. Okay? We have suffered so much in the hand of religious leaders. So many games, they play it. They play us and we like it. We follow them. And we will never see that. We will never see their secret. Because we keep believing instead of us asking relevant questions. You are rich enough. I expect you 1.2, 1.3 million for the past private investigators. You don't need to shake yourself. Are you a professional private investigator? No. Are you a professional lawyer? No. You're an activist. Let professionals go do their job. How can you leave Abuja to be going, risk yourself as a billionaire, to go and be investigating a bad case in Ikurudu? The risk, everything. Come on now. So who do you went to, who do you went to meet that you cannot call on the telephone? Again, eh, 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 another.
<laughs> we will get there. It will be better. So come I don't know whether this answer any question. Did this answer any of your confusion? Did this make things a little bit right? I wasn't confused. Eh? But my response, I wasn't confused, but I, oh. I get your message. Mm -hmm. I get your I get your message, but my own position is about a billionaire coming from Abuja to Lagos. Everybody has his way of doing his work. So let us not let us not <laughs> uh, blame anybody. Yeah. yeah, let us not blame anybody. Uh, you think better get so I'm a poor man. If, if and so, I left no. Abuja to come and Paparano. 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 Family call. Okay, just keep talking to me. Go on.
Imole Golden Seal. Are you there? Golden Seal. Maybe you give us musical in the interim. Someone has music. Yes, uh, 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 all right. So, uh, um, what's going on? What's going on? Where is the he left? You left? Okay, still there. Oh, oh I hope you guys didn't hear the sweet conversation. <laughs> This is what women fans, they always need. They need to get me recorded and they need to cast me. They, 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 they are here. They sleep here all the time. They want something tangible all the time. They have casted everybody. They want to cast Papa Riano. They can't wait. But I'll make it hard for you guys. I promise. <laughs> keep trying. Keep trying. I, I like that. You guys keep trying every day. If we are here, let me see if we are 300, half of them are spies, women fans. If we are 150 of them, as so, you see, Tolani is Tolani to see just popping out, just show that, oh my God, me too, I'm there. <laughs> we are here, Tolani. I want to want to arrest here. You want to help me? Tell me to arrest or guy in Bubu, Bubu, in Bala, but I'm going to say What's okay, Tolani? Mama, sir. What's going on, sir? Mama, sir. Mama sa ah eh mm -hmm. mm. ah I hope we may get arrested there tomorrow. As I'm saying all of this thing, I imagine that they just arrest Wumi, Adora, and Darusha. Wumi, Adora, and Darusha tomorrow. And Mama Mubad, four of them, them, and put them in separate prison. And then you have Mubad father taking food to go and give to them. <laughs> food and water. I'm going there to pray for them and tell them I'm going to the mountain to pray for you guys. I'm a good Christian. <laughs> and then the police will just say, um, we're going to continue to interrogate the mother. While interrogating the mother, Baba, I mean, you seem more well, trustworthy. Can you just take the baby away from her and go take care of the baby the same way you took care of Mubad? Okay, just take the baby. Give the baby to the, to the grandfather. Baba will just carry the baby and just walk out of the police station. Slow motion. Papa Rano, she just gave them a good reason. <laughs> straight, to, straight to hospital. Straight, straight for DNA. <laughs> that one day is golden. You don't you don't want that opportunity twice. Once, just that one day, DNA sample will be sent to five hundred different hospitals around the world. Papa Rano, I tire for you. If I want to know they're looking for you because uh, now, now, now today, you have incited that them. baby is just needed. Hmm? Oh, if we can you. give the baby to that man just for one day, one good day. I, 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 and uh, the mystery will be unravel. <laughs> you guys are just so happy that, I mean, I don't know why you guys are just, what are you guys trying to protect? This, this is only about a shame on the side of women that your firstborn, your firstborn child, and everybody is so much around, so many confession controversies around your firstborn child. Oh no. Any one of you who do not support DNA, I think you've got an issue. And this is what I say again. I say, don't just focus on the law. 
okay with 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 sense sometimes you can beat the judge in the court you can beat you can win your case with something objective objectively every children deserves to know their parent it is a cheating on that child to deprive that child of a right for that child to know his biological father to know his true story let that child know his true story who is his biological father this is a judgment that will always be referenced to okay if the judge that's what the judge and the high court must think carefully if the magistrate or judge must think carefully and see that at all costs they ordered for dna for dna test to be done on that child this is the only way this is the only child right this is the only thing that matters here the best interest of that child is for the child to be sure who is his biological father is his father still alive or his father is no longer alive it's simple any judge who refused to let that child do a dna test we will only see that as oppression we will see that as a damage on that child and if case not taken for me i would prefer there be a petition against that judge to challenge that the morality of that judge in a more higher court for you to deprive such a young baby of the right because we need the court order of the order for that child to find out who is his true father you destroy that child's life even when it's objectively clear that every child will want to know who their true father is dada daddy you can't just daddy everybody who is your what is your own story who is your own daddy So these are the things that we are talking about. So I hope that a good lawyer will know how to maneuver, how to swing with his different points and get the judge convinced that the judge will just have to vote. Sometimes it's not by law. That's why they will tell you that sometimes there is there are new new cases every day that is not even written in the law. There are things that has never been that judgment like in this case this mobile case is special there have never been such judgment before are you saying something papa no do you want to do a role play i can't hear you okay i think i low the volume are you there can, Hello? can you hear me now all right now i hear you go on. do you want to do a role play can i pretend to be a woman you pretend to be the judge and i want you want to convince me why there should be a dna you want me to be baba's lawyer okay you be you be baba's lawyer let me be woman let me play let me let me pretend as if i'm woman and i'm talking for myself i know what to say you know sometimes you can talk for yourself in court i say i don't even need my lawyer to speak for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are you ready mm -hmm. okay so i'm going to start with your lordship i am not confused about the paternity of my baby at all i know that is my husband Ilerio lua that is the father of my baby and it did never contested it or even doubted me i don't know why they're asking me for dna oh yeah convinced the judge Papariano. you don't know why they're asking for dna mm -hmm. All right. So, um, there have been so many um, controversy out there uh, on the 
on whom is the true father of this baby okay and culturally it is very very important that this family i mean establish a link a connection okay among its family members and historically this family has never got any such controversy on any family member before this is the first time and we are shocked and whenever things like that rises i mean we just ha we just i mean um without any doubt just employ the the easiest means if there is nothing hidden we just employ the easiest means of determining whether or not the controversies that is coming upon the child whether it's true or not so the circumstances that surfaces clearly put this baby on a very dangerous position and as a family for the love that we have for this baby it would not be good if we do not get this resolved and allow this baby to grow in all of this controversy so with the, in the best interest of this child we want to help clear these controversies and to help ensure that the wealth everything the asset that the deceased father has left behind is going to the right persons and again my lordship if there is no if there is nothing fishing okay i will wonder why a 24 year old woman having a first born child with so many controversy and we turn to me and we turn to my lordship huh is that no, no we have a you note it down that your you are Taking some derogatory remarks against me. Note that down, your lordship. Okay, continue. Okay, but this is this is the witness report. We have witnesses report of promiscuity. Um, let me see. Who is that? Uh, come back, comrade. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we have witnesses report of um, promiscuity. A person like Micey, okay, um, and, and evidence against the deceased wife of cheating in the past and also um, a manipulation from the side of the deceased during the pregnancy period of the deceased wife okay the amount of a pregnancy it's so manipulative and also issues of placenta i mean not following the proced the procedure that it's supposed to follow basically whereby the um, the, the father of the, the the father of the deceased was supposed to bury the placenta of the child in the in the house of the father which which whose right was denied so all of these complications and then followed by controversies like i mean it, it, it endangers the future of that baby and the best interest of this baby it will make uh the best interest of this baby it will be good and helpful if the order is granted that this baby should know his true biological father. Mr. <laughs> Paprano, sorry, you are pleading with the, you are pleading with her. You are not interrogating her. You're supposed no, to. No, 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 no. We, she's a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. We have a central judge. She is. No, Paprano, she is, no, no, just, just one minute. You know, wait, wait, wait. Okay, she. I'm taking her right now as a lawyer. Unless she wants to act as a woman, even if she's no, acting she's as a woman. woman. See, um, woman. African TV, I mean, if I am in the case, if I am in the court, I am trying to convince my judge, not, con not I don't care about her. I'm convincing my judge to get the grant from my judge, the order from my okay, judge. Let's do this.